Hello my fellow gamers, I'm Puggy Gamer and today is that time of year again, it is January, which means it's time for another blooming update on the channel. Yep, it's January 2016, which means I have to tell you guys what we are planning to do on the here over the course of the next few weeks, if not next few months, at least till March, April time. And I have got a good, good few plans already laid out and I can't wait to tell you guys. But first thing you may want to may be wondering is, why are we doing this on like a multiplayer server like when we did the last update in October? And instead of being on this world, well, this is no longer a server which of the world I'm in at the moment. This is in fact now a single player world, yes. Unfortunately, if you haven't already seen my Twitter post saying there's no more going to be no more Modern World Mod Source 2 videos on the server, well, unfortunately, it's come to the point where we have decided to officially end the server. Yeah, as much as I love the pack, it's just like, I think the pack now has literally run its course. course. I, I myself still had absolutely tons of pump upon tons of stuff I wanted to do like all the Thorncraft stuff I still didn't get around to bloody blood magic obviously it was down there and all the techie stuff and god only knows what else we were planning to do I know it was a really good good pack though the people that were playing like Pav and Skull Crush and all that lot um, some of them were saying that the pack really didn't have that much of a longevity, i.e. they started playing it, enjoying themselves, but by which time they literally done their course in terms of the mods they wanted to do, and they didn't really see much point in the pack. Whereas me, myself, and the long haul guy, I will stick to it to the very end, obviously, like you can see here. I didn't even get a chance to move all this crap here, and get everything literally up and running including my central console section i really 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 wished i could have done it we could i was actually thinking of continuing on the single on as a single player just to get it all finished off but thinking what's the point in that because every every modded season i do i always aim to get a little bit further and this season i've got so far compared to the modern world magic obviously it went from mod source to modern world magic as you, if you don't already know that one was just unbelievable this one is just even more blooming bonkers the phone craft the freaking botany room which you didn't even freaking get started on though that is even more mental than last time though the tech room that we freaking did was just off the complete chat this is the best tech room i have ever built and I reckon on the next modded server that we do do, um, it will hopefully be a hell of a lot better. I'm thinking of the next modded server. We have already set one up. Uh, it's been running now for at least the past few days, though I myself am going to take just a little bit of a break from modded Minecraft. Yes, I love modded Minecraft. I continue. I could literally continue playing say on this world for weeks upon weeks just to get like i said get this base finished off but i'm feeling now obviously since the service now officially ended i need a break because i don't want to go from from here where i can just make anything and everything to my heart's content to them thinking right we need to start off from scratch again i just want that break just to clear my mind do some other stuff in between and have some fun. And the thing you may be wondering is, what pack is it that we're actually going to be doing? Well, Sharon has actually set up another server with uh, Reson let's see, uh, Resonant... Uh, what is it again? Yeah, sorry about that. I completely forgot what the bloody pack name was. I knew it was... It wouldn't click. Yeah, Resonant Rise 3. Some of you may have been playing this pack for a while. I've found some where it's been out for a good while, but this pack is really intriguing. the fact you can just customise it to have it however best you want so we've added a good good few mods to it a lot of people have been playing on it obviously like sheridan and hoser and a good few other people which i cannot remember for the life of me but it does seem really really good good fun and like i said it's gonna be a few weeks till we get going but when i do feel fit it will we will just completely go for it um but I, I reckon it's going to be at least maybe second, third week of January before we do start. So that in itself is going to be a freaking good one. Also, thinking of the um, Minecraft theme that we're going for at the moment. Um, a while back, you, if you're a long time subscriber, you may be aware that my channel did originally get taken down. Um, probably about four months after I started up. 
uh, for something I believe like tag putting tags in the description, which is a big no-no. But obviously at the time I wasn't even aware of it, and I didn't even get a warning, which was a bit, bit of a freaking bitch. And with that in mind, I'm thinking of re-uploading my first time on a vanilla server. Yeah, the server in question was like called Myception. It lasted for about how many weeks? I think I've got about 18 videos, which is about one a week. It was a good, good, good few months. But by the time it finished, the server had near enough had died, and it was only about one or two people playing, including myself. So it was really, really good fun, including when a point where I got the whole server involved in building a freaking iron trench by Tangle Tech. That, in essence, was my best ever freaking build, vanilla or modded. So that was absolutely fantastic. And when I was just watching the first episode from it, I was literally like, hello, my fellow gamers. I was really, really, really monotone. It's like, flat as hell. So, it's going to be intriguing just to see what you guys think of it. I'm really excited to actually get this um, series up and run, um, on the channel again because I've already got about the first seven episodes already uploaded, ready to go. So, it's definitely, definitely going to be a blooming interesting one for you guys to actually watch. And now off to them, off the Minecraft Minecraft um, tour, we need to talk about what else is going on in the channel. So if you also know, I love FIFA and love playing it. And if you've been aware, I've been playing FIFA and putting it on the channel about one every three days. So, so like it's on Monday, then it's off for two days, then it's back on Thursday, and then so on and so on and so on. And how how long is that going to be lasting for, you may be asking? Well, I'm not entirely sure. It could be lasting for at least the next three months. It could be lasting until June. I just don't know. It probably may last until it gets to the point where I feel I've only I've got so far and I can't really get any further in the game. So it's definitely, definitely going to be interesting. But for the moment, FIFA is staying put. For those people that do love, enjoy the FIFA videos, don't worry, it's not going anywhere until at least April, May time. Then I will reconsider um, if we're going to keep it on the channel for the next, over the summer months, obviously over during the World Cup. And obviously, it will, obviously come August time, that's definitely, that's definitely not going to, most likely not going to be having FIFA on the channel anymore. Obviously, it's going to be the warm up for the next FIFA 17. My god, that's freaking mental, just thinking way, way, way ahead. And also, um, as for what else we're going to be doing on the channel, we have loads of other blooming plans. I've um, over the past few months, I have bought tons of games. Got a good few from my mates. I've got a good few on Black Friday, and I have tons that I freaking want to play. For some of them you may have already seen on the channel, like obviously Spotlighting them. You know, like Shovel Knight or Stanley Parable. Stanley Parable, I really do want to play a game. It's like, it's so random, it's so intriguing, especially the point that you can just go off from the pathway that the narrator suggests. So, it's going to be intriguing just to see how we do, how we can play that game as well. Shovel Knight, like I said, really do want to play, try that game again. It's just so random and so, so cool. And as for the other games on the channel, one of the games that I bought um, during the Black Friday sales was Until Dawn. And some of you don't already wear, it's like a, yeah, it's actually a hot, fancy, fancy little horror game. Give, give it a feel to the 80s movie spin-off, you know, the slasher, 80s movie slasher films, something like along those lines. And it's where you can control at least one of six, seven characters, something like that. You're not controlling just one character, you're controlling the whole lot. And throughout the course of the game, events happen, some characters, you may get some characters killed off. And if, it is not like if that character dies, you have to restart. If that character dies, that is it for that character. And the, move, the game continues, well, I was about to literally say move it. Yeah, the game literally does continue on. And obviously, it's gonna be a freaking scary game. I've heard, I've seen a few videos of when the it was literally just before release, and it really, really does look amazing. It's just in case when we're gonna put it on, I'm not too sure. Maybe in the next few weeks, but when we do record that game, I'm definitely gonna have to make sure I'm recording it now because I want to get the full effect of being absolutely freaking scared. Yeah, that in itself is going to be an absolute freaking. I cannot wait to actually play that game. It's just sitting on my desk, still in its wrapper, waiting to be played. That I really, really, really cannot wait for. 
Um, and as for some other games uh, we want to play, one of which um, I've had on my PlayStation for, how could I put bluntly, the past year. Yeah, The Wolf Among Us. It's literally been sitting there on my PlayStation since I bought it last Christmas, I do believe. Never even got round to it, so I'm hoping this time round we may, may just be able to play that game. I really do want to play it. The whole reason I bought the game was to play it because it's Telltale and Telltale. I know produce absolutely brilliant content and that is definitely, definitely one game I really do want to get around to. And speaking of Telltale, I've had The Walking Dead Season 1 and Season 2 and 400 Days on my PC hard drive just sitting there like what like uh, Wolf Among Us obviously not for as long I think I bought them during the summer sales or steam summer sales for our tenor for the whole for the whole shebang and I really am really can't wait to actually play especially replaying season one then playing 400 days which I've never even touched I don't even know what it's about all I know it's it supposedly gives you a clear picture between season one and season two obviously whatever characters transfer from 400 days go over to season two and i can't wait to see what happens to clementine so yeah that really 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 will be freaking amazing when i actually do get round to it uh there's a few of the little there's at least one other game i do want to play it's been sitting on the playstation 4 for ever i was hoping to play it around halloween time but obviously didn't get round to it that is the recently, unfortunately, cancelled freaking game from Konami, produced by Hideo Kojima. Uh, that one uh, was PT Silent Hills. Yeah, I really wasn't happy when this game got cancelled, but it's on my hard drive, sitting there, just waiting to play it. I've seen videos of people playing it. It does look so terrifying and suspenseful. I really, really can't wait. It's 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 probably got more of them little spotlights, maybe just a, a couple of videos on it or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but that one is definitely one to possibly look out for. And with all that in mind, uh, what is now? Here is a little uh, picture of the so-called scheduling of what I have planned, of how the things are going to run, should we say. Of from now on and obviously I've been running this schedule obviously not entirely as you see obviously not with all the freaking indie and telltale and console games it's just been the minecraft obviously modded modern world mod source and fifa so in essence this will start officially on monday with uh, my inception obviously some of them is going to be two videos a day it could be one so it's definitely definitely going to be an interesting to see how it goes especially if when i do start resident rise sometimes i may get two eps two minecraft videos out a day i just don't know others may just be my inception depends how much work i've got to do in terms of um the resident rise when we do eventually start it also the obviously for the second lot of days obviously after uh, the mines, Minecraft we have for the first part of the first three weeks we have the indie games and also Telltale like, like with the Minecraft that is going to be like the same whereas some days we may get a Telltale game others we may get just get an indie game and others we may get both so it's definitely definitely going to be an interesting one I still got to put all the times on and I'll make sure I put a proper time of when the video when the videos are going to be released and how it's all going to be set out but and that is also going to be fun. As you can see, FIFA is the same, like I mentioned just before. And then we have the console games. And as I said, that is going to be until dawn. But that probably won't start to at least second week of... um, Yeah, second week of freaking January. So I have definitely got a huge amount of work to do on the channel. Just with that schedule, you may think... That's a huge amount of work to do, but thinking about it, the console games I can just do in batch. I literally record a huge amount of footage and then just edit it all up and then get the next, say, record four episodes and then that cover me for at least the next two weeks. So that frees up a huge amount of time. It's been working brilliant for FIFA and I've already got the next four episodes recorded and I'll be doing another four probably next week. So at least I only have to, only have to record about twice, every t one, once a week for... Uh, one say one out of no two out of every four weeks for for at least over a month worth of footage so that 
it's working a hell of a lot better than when I first tried to start scheduling. So I really, really, really cannot wait to get everything started that I mentioned. And there may even be a hell of a lot more stuff on the channel that I've not even freaking talked about. So keep your eyes peeled. I'll definitely keep you up aware of things on Twitter. And if you're not already following me on Twitter, please, please do. Obviously, all my social network links will be down in the description. But I don't have a Facebook one because I just haven't even got around to it. I probably do, but it's just case deal really wants it because most of my freaking following is on Twitter. But hey, either way, so if you have enjoyed the little update and really do want to see all the stuff that I've mentioned, please do make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, please do subscribe because every single like, comment, and subscription helps my channel so, so much. And I'll see you next time.